Welcome to Mantua Garage. Today we're going to be discussing the steering system on a GMK 4100L-1. We'll go through the display features of how you select the different steering modes and then we'll actually steer the crane so you can see the different applications. Once inside the carrier cab, we'll use the carrier display to access the steering menu. We'll select the menu button. Next we'll scroll to the steering icon and select OK. And we see on the right side we have our steering indicators for the different modes. This is highway mode, manual mode, coordinated mode, and crab mode. To select one of these modes, you navigate to the icon and then select the OK button. Please keep in mind to select a different crane mode, you must be going less than 5 kilometers per hour or 3 miles per hour for these icons to be live and for you to be able to select a different mode. Manual mode will allow you to steer the front wheels primarily with the steering wheel and the rear wheels can be steered with a rocker switch on a dash. The rocker switch for rear steer is located on the left side of the dash. To steer the rear axles, simply push the rocker switch to the left to steer the axles left or push the rocker switch to the right to steer the axles to the right. Now we'll look at some steering configurations on the crane. First we will select highway mode. Via the display we will select the highway mode icon then OK. And next we will turn the wheels to the left and to the right. As you can see axles 1 and 2 steer with the steering wheel along with axle 4 which counter steers. Axle 3 stays in the straight ahead position. Now we will select coordinated mode. We'll select the coordinated mode icon, select OK, and now as we steer the axles left and right, we will see that axles 1 and 2 are turning to the left, and axles 3 and 4 will now counter steer to the right. Again, this is all done using the steering wheel and the crane. So we steer to the right with the steering wheel. Axles three and four will counter steer to the left. Now we'll go back to the display and we will select crab mode. In this mode all axles will steer the same direction via the steering wheel and the carrier. First we will steer to the left with the steering wheel and all four axles steer to the left position. And now we will steer to the right with the steering wheel and all axles turn to the right position. Our final mode is manual mode. In manual mode, there's different steering configurations, whether we're steering with the steering wheel only or using the steering wheel and the steering rocker switch on the instrument display. Here we are steering with the steering wheel only to the left and you can see axles 1, 2 and 3 steer to the left 
axle four stays in the straight ahead position. Now we steer to the right with the steering wheel and axles one, two, and three steer to the right and axle four remains locked in the straight ahead position. The other scenario we have in manual mode is the steer with the steering wheel and the rocker switch or just the rocker switch. So here we are steering only with the rocker switch and we steer to the left with the rocker switch for axles three and four and then we can steer axles three and four to the right only using the rocker switch. And finally, we can steer using both the steering wheel and the rocker switch. So axles one and two will be controlled via the steering wheel and axles three and four will be controlled using the rocker switch. Now we'll steer all axles to the right using the steering wheel and the rocker switch. Simulating crab mode. And then we can use just the rocker switch to turn axles three and four to the left to simulate coordinated mode. and then bring all axles back straight using the steering wheel and the rocker switch. Thanks for tuning in to Man Talk Garage for today's video. Hope you'll find this video useful. Be sure to tune back in in the future for additional videos.